In this video, we are covering paintings with grids that correspond to the proportions of the golden ratio. They can be arbitrarily applied without altering the proportions. This way, we can check the proportions during our further analysis without doing any calculations or using gauges. In this self-portrait by Gustave Courbet, one can find two interesting things. The line of the horizon is in the upper golden section, as the line of the eye level is identical to the line of the horizon, and the two arms form a golden rectangle. These proportions project the inner harmony of this picture to the viewer. In his painting The Stormy Sea, he lifted the horizon in respect of the golden proportions from the lower trisection, thus emphasizing the smashing force of this immense mass of water. In the painting Dugovic Titus by Shandor Wagner, the heroic scene is depicted with the golden section. In order for us to see the point of this heroic act, the protagonist looks at the flag. They sacrifice their lives for a more sublime notion. Though the line of the horizon can be placed arbitrarily, landscape painters prefer to choose the lower trisector. This is an advantageous choice indeed, as instead of a simple symmetry, the result is a more harmonious symmetry. The three-dimensional effect and stabilization are augmented. The drawback to this is that a dynamic depiction of clouds in the space opened in the upper two-thirds can easily distract attention from the central theme. In Claude Monet's The Man Porte, we can see that if the phi proportion is chosen to plot the line of the horizon, the theme is given more emphasis, and it also generates some sort of harmony. The place of the central theme is clearly visible in The Awakening of Spring by Istvan Chulk, depicting a man and a woman in love. The young man watches the basket of flowers situated exactly in the golden section. The young woman examines the blooming branches. She is looking out of the picture. The viewer scans the whole painting, follows the man's gaze, and finally stops at the basket full of flowers. We can also find the lines of the golden section lying between the geometrical forms in the colorful compositional painting by Piet Mondrian. A thoughtful application of the golden section can be found in the sketch and painting of Ece Homo by Mihai Munkachi. The line of the horizon is placed on the line of the lower golden section the eye level of Christ on the upper golden section in the sketch. However, in the finished work of art, the arrangement is the one used in the Renaissance era, thus 